Hey guys, today we're doing an extreme closet organization in my closet and an extreme nursery organization. If you've been wanting to organize your closet or your little one's space and need easy, affordable, and quick DIY ideas, then this is for you because anyone can do it. You may remember me saying that I have been doing a lot of extreme cleaning, organizing, and decluttering in my home when I shared my recent extreme clean with me video. Since many of you requested I film how I organize my closet and my little girl's rooms, here it is. If you haven't seen my extreme home organization and clean with me videos, I will leave them linked below so you can see what I've done in different areas of my home and hopefully you're inspired in some way. Let me know if you guys feel the same way, but I really enjoy walking into a clean and organized space where I have a place for each of my items. It makes me really happy and I can focus on other important things that need attention. For my closet organization, step number one is to empty out the shelves. This allows me to get a fresh start at a new and clean space and I can see how much space I have to add containers for organizing my items. I partnered with M Design to create the most ultimate organized and functional spaces using their amazing products. I have their storage containers, bins, drawer dividers, caddy organizers, lazy susans, divided containers, and acrylic jewelry box that is my absolute favorite. You can use these pieces just about anywhere in your home, which is something I really love and I couldn't recommend these products enough because of how versatile, affordable, and elegant these pieces are. If you missed my refrigerator organization video, I used M Design products in there as well and I absolutely love the quality, you guys. These pieces can be used not just for a closet but for many purposes. This brings me to step number two where I highly recommend to measure and choose the products for the spaces you want to organize. I picked out all of these items online and just to make sure everything would fit where I wanted it to go, I got my measuring tape and measured my shelves to see how much room I have to work with. I really like how there's a divider in this bin. I've never seen one with it already placed inside. It's perfect for separating anything you want. Now for step number three, I went ahead and arranged the containers in my closet where I want them to go. I like to play around with them before I add the items to see what style I like best. At the end of the video, you'll see how I switch things up. Doing this method allows me to visualize how I'm going to organize my items and I really like that these bins are transparent so I can see what I have in each bin. Step number four is labeling once you have your bins and containers where you want them to be and know what each bin will be used for. I bought these peel and stick letter stickers to label the containers and I'm going to label them for hats including winter items. This gives it a much more organized look and it makes it look nicer in my opinion. I keep all of our towels in the closet. I don't have a linen closet right now and since we don't wear shoes in the house, then this is a perfect alternative to add our towels in. And if you're wondering where our shoes are, they're in the garage, but I do have a few of my heels in my closet that mean a lot to me. So I decided to place them in these storage clothes top containers. They're stackable containers and they're amazing, you guys. You can place your heels, shoes, toys, clothes, and so much more in them. This divided Lazy Susan is one of my absolute favorites, you guys. You need this in your life if you don't already have them, and if you do, it's perfect to gift it to someone that you know needs organizing in their home. You can place just about anything in here, and I'm also using these for my pantry for snacks. I will leave all of these items linked below in the description box, so all you have to do is click that link and it'll take you right to it. I thought this was a fun way to put my husband's dress socks in to switch things up from placing them in his drawer. Step number six is folding clothes. I've always folded clothes this way because my mom taught us when we were little. You will see how all of my workout pants, shorts, and jeans are folded in this method.
I decluttered a lot of my clothes, so here I have a few of my summer PJs that are tank tops and shorts. I placed them in this clear container with a rose gold bottom. It has six spaces to add these PJs in. The rose gold lid containers are also from M Design. They're very girly and I love how it's reflective like a mirror on the top and bottom when you open it. These pajamas were all over the drawer looking like a hot mess, so keeping them in this divided container makes them look like I have my own little boutique along with M Design's white drawer dividers. I really like how they expand to fit your drawer, then when you have your desired length, there's a switch to pull down in the middle to lock it in place, and now you can separate shorts, pants, or anything in between. I'll have to get one more of these dividers for my socks because I just placed it in here to see if I would like how it looked and I really do. This organizer is also great for placing your makeup palettes in, wallets, perfumes, and much more. Here's how my closet turned out and I hope that these ideas gave you inspiration and motivation to organize your own closet. M Design's products made my closet look like a boutique and I love walking in here every day to get ready for the day. Out of everything here, my most favorite item has to be this acrylic jewelry organizer. You guys, this is very high-end and for an amazing price. The quality is very nice and I really like the gray suede for that glam elegant look you guys know I love. Here's my husband's side. I added Lazy Susans for his socks, then I added light sweaters, sweatshirts, and sweatpants in these clear container bins. Now he can reach for these items and actually see what he has rather it being messy in his drawers. You guys wanted to see how I organize my girls' rooms, and here I have my second baby girl's nursery chest. I will film her nursery tour later on this month, and I can't wait to share that with you all. This is one of the pieces that's in her nursery, and I'll leave it linked below if you're interested in it. It's by the brand Da Vinci, exclusively sold at Target. It was gifted to our baby girl from them. We're also going to be adding modular closets to both of our girls' closets, and I'll share the process in another video as well. These pink containers with the clear lids are also from M Design, and I bought these with my own money because of how adorable they are, you guys. These sell out pretty fast, so you should get them as soon as they're in stock.
This organizer caddy is also from M Design. I love the blush color and here I added diapers, cream and wipes for on the go. These light pink dresser organizers are super cute. They're also from M Design. They have different colors or in this light pink with polka dots. I added this in my other baby girl's dresser to organize some of her clothing and it makes it look so much nicer in her drawers. Here are some of her shoes that don't fit her anymore that will be passed down to her little sister. I just placed them in her nightstand and used a drawer divider to separate the house slippers and outdoor shoes. These are the cutest Uggs I have seen. They have so much sparkle and I can't wait for my daughter to fit into them soon. Of course, I also had to get a sparkling lunchbox because of how adorable it is. Here's how her closet turned out and like I mentioned before, we're going to be adding modular closets in here and I can't wait to show you guys the transformation. This concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these closet organization ideas and are inspired to tackle those spaces that need the extra love. Thank you so much for being here and all your continued love and support. You guys know I appreciate you all so much. So I wanted to do a surprise giveaway in today's video for four winners to each receive a $25 gift card. All of the details will be in the description box. So if you want to be part of this giveaway, the rules will be there. I'll talk to you all very soon in my next video. Have an amazing day and take care.